Sephora haul. First, I got a refill of the Rare Beauty setting spray. Mine is definitely running very low, so it is so weird to see a completely full one. Next up, I got this Sol Janeiro. Gen I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but I got the Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods Spray Mist Perfume, and I'm so excited because it smells amazing. And then finally, kind of random, but I got the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion because honestly, when I'm like in a last minute time crunch and I have a little pimple, this does work pretty well. That's everything I got. Bye guys. Are the top five things I would get at the Sephora sale if you just want to be a complete summer beachy goddess this year. Starting off with my number one favorite, it's the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil. If you want to smell like that bitch, like that bougie bitch on the beach, you need this. I put this all over my shoulders and chest when I go out at night and I also wear it at the beach. You're just going to completely glisten in the sun and this is a warm and spicy scent so it's like... It's like mature and sexy and bougie. It smells like you spent the entire day at the beach. You got a little bit of a tan, you got a little bit of a sunburn, and you are going to smell like an absolute bombshell. This is pretty expensive though, so if you're going to get it, get it during the sale. That's a little bit out of your budget. Then number two is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. This is very similar vibes. It just smells like a sunny, warm day. This has no shimmer in it, so it's just a scent, but it smells really good, and it's good for every day, and Oh, it's, mm, it smells so good. Highly recommend. Coming in at number three is the Way Body Cream. This is the St. Bart's. It's the new body cream. And this smells also like summer. It's really creamy. It's not sticky. It smells exactly how you would picture a tropical vacation. It's more of like a bright scent. It smells like I'm drinking a pina colada on the beach. I'm wearing this right now in combination with the Rio Radiance and it's just match made in heaven. Number four is kind of a common one. It is the Super Goop and this is the glow screen. I really like this for under makeup. I wear it to the beach. It's an SPF of 40. Uh, you can tell she's gotten a lot of love and I just ordered a new one, but it has a little bit of a tint to it, which I really like and you're just going to be super super glowy on the beach how glowy and radiant that is i'm sure you guys have seen these a million times this has also gotten a lot of love from me these are the drunk elephant bronzing drops and these are a great combo if your face is more pale than your body this just gives you a nice tint so if you use a sunscreen that gives you a white cast on your face this will take that away okay i had to throw in one more this is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer and this just makes you look like a glowing Victoria's Secret model. This is the best bronzer. I dropped it today and it cracked. I'm so sad. But this is another summer must-have. You are going to be absolutely glowing and beaming. I just went to Sephora, so let's see what I got. Okay, first thing we got is the Summer Fridays Skin Tint. I got shade 3. I've been on the hunt for a skin tint that's a little more coverage than a tinted sunscreen, which I wear every day. So we're going to try this. I also have really acne prone skin and I've heard some bad things about some other products in the market. So we're going to try this. And then another skin tint that we got is this Tower 28 Sunny Days Skin Tint. I got the shade 20 Mulholland. Um, this also has SPF in it. So I will uh, wear SPF with the Summer Fridays. I didn't get the Summer Fridays SPF, but I'll wear my other one. But girls, you need to wear your SPF and I'm really excited to try this. Okay, next thing we got is this Lancome concealer. I've been on the hunt for concealers and I tried NARS and I really like that one. So I'm gonna keep with that one. Um, Hourglass, I really didn't like. The shades just did not match my skin very well and it kind of creased. So I'm really excited to try this. I got the shade 260, so we'll see. Okay, next I got the LYS bronzing stick. I actually already got this in the shade Courage. I did it in my last unboxing video and I also tried it and it was just a little too dark. So I really liked it, it's like literally butter. So this time I got it in the color Harmony Medium, but I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to try it. Then I got this Sol de Janeiro um, deodorant. It's aluminum free and I really like the smell of this. So we'll see if it works, stay tuned. I've also heard really good things about salt and stone. Um, so I wanna try that, but we're gonna try this. And then my last three items are just restocks. So the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. So these are the darker ones. Um, I did get the Goldie Drops and I absolutely love them, but I also am out of this one and you cannot go wrong. So when Sephora has this in stock, you gotta run. So I got this and then this Sol de Janeiro Perfume. I absolutely love this. It's like pistachio salted caramel. It's so good. And then my favorite dry shampoo of all time is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. It's insane. Yes, it does leave a white residue, but I absolutely love this. So that's all we got. 
I blacked out and somehow spent 430 bucks at Sephora. I have a problem, but let's see what I got. Did you hear that after the Super Bowl, Fenty Beauty's sales or searches increased by 133%? Yeah, I was part of that. This is actually a repurchase. This is the Fenty Beauty Lemon Lava heat gloss bomb so it's a little plumper i gave it to my mom and i mentioned it in a video and said i was gonna take it back because i don't think she used it well she actually called me and said you're not gonna take it back i do use it so go get another one so that's what i did and then because i was so inspired by the super bowl halftime show i got another one which is a new shade for me this is their hot cherry so i'm excited to test them out to see if they plump my lips and give me that lip filler effect next to our concealer brushes one is from mary beauty and one is from the sephora collection this is number 71 so i will be testing these out i don't know if this is new but this is the patrick ta sculpt contour brush wait till you guys see it i saw him use it i think on a tutorial he did of kensington does this not look like the perfect contour brush? Yeah, I thought so too, so I'm going to test it out. I've been on a big brush kick lately. I just feel like I want to try them out. And the next is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. I asked you guys when I did the full face of Fenty if I should try it, and a lot of you guys said it actually is worth it and it's good, so I got it in the shade Island Ting. Island Ting. If you guys want to see first impressions of any of these, let me know. You know, I'll do that. Oh, this one was my, this is my favorite. This one I'm most excited about. Okay, we have Huda Beauty. This is their Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. No, they sent me the wrong one. I ordered the shade Cupcake. I This is Cherry Blossom Cake. I have Cherry Blossom Cake. I wanted to try Cupcake. No! Personal problems. This is my baby Cherry Blossom Cake. Okay, well that was bummer but then i also got the hourglass ambient soft glow foundation and so many of you guys have told me to review this because you know how much i love hourglass but also this was on so many people's favorite foundations of 2022 so i finally bit the bullet and got it i also got the hourglass translucent setting powder which is supposed to make you look like airbrush not many people talk about it but the ones that do this is like their ride or die so i'm excited to try it then i got the tar timeless smoothing primer this is supposed to be like everyone's holy grail i saw tati talking about it and apparently this is like the best smoothing primer so i kind of want to compare it to my cali ray one because i love that one and then i got the kosa's uh, vitamin infused skin enhancer i've seen so many look i've seen so many mixed reviews about this so i'm excited to test it out i bought these so long ago that i forgot that i even got these another rihanna inspired this is the liquid lip liquid lip she wore during the super bowl halftime show and it looks stunning so i had to get it. then the nude sticks glamzilla collab that was a lot let me know what you guys want to see and i will test it out let's do a sephora haul i finally was able to redeem my sephora vib rouge like 100 dollars gift card or store credit or whatever thing and i had a gift card so i let myself indulge i usually only buy things when they're on sale or really that's the only way i buy things is if they're on sale but this time I didn't. I just let myself buy whatever I wanted and it felt really good. So the first thing I got, this is um, something I've been wanting for a very, very long time. This is the Fluff Up Brow Wax from Benefit. Um, it's like their newer brow product. And also I bought all the things or a lot of the things that were on my wish list, and I didn't buy random things, which is also hard for me to do because I'll only buy things on sale. And then this is another thing I've been wanting for a very long time. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, and this is in the shade Brown Sugar. I cannot wait to have this in my possession. Another wish list thing, the Benefit Flora Tint. I love the OG Benetint, and this was just another shade that I thought was really pretty and I really wanted and has been on my list for months at this point. So got that too. And this. I knew I would only buy this if I had a gift card, if I had the VIB Rouge thing, or if it like went on sale because this is a very pricey product, but I wanted it so bad. This is the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil. She's so pretty. And then these two things were not on my wish list, but they were new on the market and I love these blushes. These are the new Patrick Ta blush shades. I got the shade She's Wanted and She's Flushed. Let's open her up. The shade She's Wanted. And this is the shade She's Flushed. And I'll show you them right next to each other too. So this one is She's Flushed and then this one is She's Wanted. I think this is probably one of the best Sephora hauls that I've ever done because I just let myself buy what I actually wanted and it felt great. I'm breaking generational curses 
by buying things at full price and not just on sale, but it is because I had a gift card. We're working slowly. This is gonna be one of the best Sephora hauls and um, you're gonna want everything I got. We're starting off strong with the new Charlotte Tilbury blush wands and these are matte. Like, are you kidding me? I love this shade. This is called Pink Pop. I can't wait to try these on. This blush from Lawless, like look at this beautiful pink. It's called Daisy Pink. Oh my gosh, I thought I bought two lip liners, but I ended up getting one lip liner and a brow pencil. Oh, anyways, the lip liner I got is in this shade right here. I think it's called Honey Rose. So the other one, I was supposed to get like a brownish color, but I grabbed the wrong product. Okay, moving on. Have you ever seen the day hairbrush? Because my friend Rebecca showed me and I'm in love. She is just so cute. It's in this like blush color and I just, I'm in love. Next is this Kaoli Travel Fragrance Set. And when I saw these, I was like, I need them. They were $55 for three of them and they're actual sprays and not roller balls. So I'm excited for these. I'm pretty sure all Sephora's are sold out of the De Bronzy drops. If you're looking for that, you might as well get their Drunk Elephant SPF tin. It's pretty much the same thing. From Sephora Collection, I got another one of the puffs because they're so soft and they've been sold out for a while, so I just restocked. And then their mini brush cleaner. Not gonna lie, I saw some girl try this on on TikTok. It is the Buxom Full Plump Lip Balm. And it made her lips look so good that I was like, I, I need it. This one is the Way Pomade. If you have baby hairs like me or just some frizz, um, this is a matte pomade. First of all, one size sent me some lip stuff and I had to grab the rest of the collection because they're just so good and the colors are so beautiful. This one is a restock. It's from Patrick Ta and it's an Oshi Single Best Brown Lip Liner. I know I have a lot of lip liners, but this one is just that one that everyone's like, what are you wearing? Lastly, Necessaire. I will always buy my body stuff from them. Lotion, body wash. I just love it. And then I found the hand cream in store. Like what? You know me. I just had a bite. The Sephora sale ends tomorrow. And if I told you I still haven't bought anything from the sale, would you believe me? I can't believe it either. Let's go to Sephora. And then a vanilla sweet cream cold foam. That's it. I forgot to record like halfway through, but it's pretty much a venti iced chai latte with two shots of espresso. I didn't get any espresso right now. Vanilla cold foam, light ice, and oat milk. Thank me later. The endorphins this thing gives me, I swear to God. We made it. I have a $200 Sephora gift card. My goal is to just use that. Let's see how good I do. I did it. What is prettier than this bag? Come on. Let's do a haul. I didn't go as crazy as I thought, honestly. I uh, I just want to say thank you to you guys for your support. I'm sorry this angle is really weird. I'm like in my mom's car. Being in a position where companies send you products really makes me feel so grateful, but never more than when I walk into a Sephora and I'm like, oh, I tried that. Oh, I got that. Oh my God, I'm going to be getting that. Like, it's the most humbling and grateful and beautiful feeling at the same time. So I feel like a lot of what I got is like what I already own and love, but like in a different shade. First up is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Blush Stick in the shade Earthy Pink. I mentioned this in my haul. And you guys said that this is a beautiful everyday shade and that's exactly what I needed. I already know I love the formula, but I just wanted a more wearable everyday color. Random, but I saw Kathleen Lights rave about Pat McGrath lip pencils. And you guys know Pat McGrath can do no wrong in my eyes. So I'm like, yeah. Apparently this is supposed to last you forever. And forever sounds good to me. You guys were so divided on this Ilia mascara. Some people loved it. Some people said it flaked like crazy so i'm gonna let you know finally got my hands on believe from rare beauty probably the most asked question for rare beauty is can you swatch believe and i'm like i don't have it it's always out of stock but i got it say do blush in the shade poppy house labs bronzer and i'm a freak because i got another tower 28 lip gel you guys this one is in the shade sesame i love their formula I ordered Lawless Daisy Girl, two Danessa Myricks blushes, a day hair cream, pink sugar butter balm, and the red one. I think it's cherry. And there you have it. Let's unbox this Sephora goodie bag. Let's see what we have in here. Wow. Laurel Street Sunflower Pop. How cute is this? Let's smell this. 
Imagine a basket full of lemons and flowers. That's how it smells like. Lemon's cleansing balm. This palette is so big. It's from Tarte. The Man Eater palette. The packaging is so beautiful. Stunning colors, like proper pigmented. Gizu leave-in conditioner. Medic 8 Retinol 3. The night Serum. Fenty Beauty Glass Balm. My second Fenty Lip Gloss. Let's try it on. Do we love it or do we love it? Polyglomatic Acid Serum from The Inculus. Healing Oil from Virtue. A hair mask from Color Wow. It smells really good too. Makeup Forever Hydrating Setting Mist. Shiseido. Power Infusing Serum. A new brand I have not heard of. Danessa Myrick. It's a blurring balm powder. Interesting. Some Olaplex. Dry Shampoo. Paula's Choice Moisturizer. A mini palette from Natasha Denona. An Amica Nourishing Mask. It's for hair. It's for hair. More hair products from Redken. Iconic London, their Prep Set and Glow Mist. A night cream from Murad. I really like this brand. Men's Perfume. Tarek is gonna be so happy. Skin Fix Triple Barrier Peptide Cream. I asked one of the Sephora ladies to tell me one of their best-selling Sephora products. She pointed straight to this mascara. Said it was the best one that they have. I can't wait to try this. NARS. Power Matte Lipstick. It's red. It's red. Wow. Kate Somerville, Drunk Elephant as well, Sukari, the multi stick from Ilia. You can put this on your lips, on your cheeks. A Sephora product, this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain, number 13. Beautiful mauve color. A Sephora mask, a Sephora lip plumper, a mini Ren eye cream. Lastly, we have another perfume, the Seven Virtues Coconut Sun. You know we have to smell it, right? Quite simple packaging literally smells like coconut mixed with a, a garden of like daffodils it smells so delicious i want to lick my hand that's everything that i got and let me know which brands are you excited to see at sephora stay tuned for a makeup look using all of these products you could only recommend five things from the sephora sale what would they be i'm going to tell you and show you exactly what they are first up is the house labs foundation now it obviously depends on what kind of foundation you're looking for if you want something that's really thin and lightweight light coverage then this is not it but if you're looking for something with medium to full coverage looks beautiful in photos complements mature skin has skincare ingredients in it which means it's treating your skin and perfecting the way your skin looks at the same time non-comedogenic non-acnegenic and it looks beautiful under powders if all those sound like what you're looking for definitely pick this up foundations tend to be pricier so the sephora sale is really the best time to pick them up setting powders are definitely something i cannot live without i go through stages of like which one i reach for right now it's huda beauty this is in the shade cherry blossom now if you have more mature skin if you don't really like to drive under eyes i will recommend the hourglass ambient lighting powders they do, this palette's not available anymore but these ones do come separately these powders are honestly second to none they will set your under eyes in your t-zone without making it look too matte like a pressed or loose setting powder would i'm going to show you guys huda beauty on this side and i look at my forehead i'll do like half my forehead so like before and after and then i'm going to do hourglass on this side i usually like to use it with the brush i was going to buy the individual pan but then somebody's like wait don't you have the elephant palette which has it anyway and I'm like, you're right. I don't need a... So this is with a loose setting powder. It definitely makes you look more matte. I just added it in my T-zone area. So not right here. And this is with the ambient lighting palette. It's definitely controlling shine, but you still have that glow. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I talk about these way too much. But I would definitely recommend the House Labs blushes if you're looking for a good blush. I was going to say Patrick Ta, but to be fair, they're already really reasonably priced. Like you're getting two, a cream and a powder for 36 bucks. During this for sale, I would definitely pick up something that's more pricey, but still worth it. And these blushes, these are the best powder blushes you will ever try. If you follow me, you know. I'm wearing Dragon for days right now. Who would I be if I didn't mention my favorite eyeshadow palette? I love this so much. I even used this shade right here to fill in like any gaps I had on my hairline. I wholeheartedly believe everybody needs this palette in their life. You can use it for a light everyday look or a full glam beat. Last but not least, the lip liner you guys see me using every single day. I use it so much. This is not even the cap that belongs to it. This is an eyeliner pencil cap, but I am not letting this dry out, okay? Forever One that is my baby. She's my comfort zone. Makeup Forever formulas are so pigmented, so creamy. They glide on. And there you have it. I truly believe you can't go wrong with any of these. Another $1,000 haul because my first one wasn't enough. So first, a classic, the Morphe setting spray. I love this for my kit. And I love this when I apply powders. I just spray it everywhere and I feel like it takes away that like powdery finish. Then my absolute favorite foundations, which I'm restocking for my kit. Well, actually not restocking. I'm 
trying to make these the only foundations in my kit. Right now, I use the Dior Face and Body, but I really love these. It's the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I got the shades Barcelona, Santa Fe, Aruba, and Fiji. Then I got the Patrick Ta um, Major Sculpt in She's Bronze. I see him use this on everyone. How the fuck do you open? Oh. I'm so excited. It's so nice. Yay. Then I got the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I'm so excited about this. It was sold out online, so I had to go get it in store. And I just saw Patrick uh, Star film a video where he puts this on, dips in the pool, comes out, and his makeup didn't move. So I was sold. And then I got the House of Labs blush in Pomelo Peach because I needed um, like a peachy blush. It's so nice. This is my first House of Labs product, so I'm so excited. And then I got five shades of the Shape Tape by Tarte. This is my favorite concealer ever, so I love to have them in my kit. And then I got one of my favorite moisturizers ever. It's literally the dupe of the Tatcha Water Cream. This is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Moisturizer. It's so good. I love it. Then, as I said in my previous video, I have scalp issues, major scalp issues. So I got the Briogeo Scalp Revival Dandruff Relief Shampoo with charcoal and BHA with salicylic acid. Anyways, I hope this works. Then, also for my scalp from Briagio 2, I got the Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. And then, also from Briagio for my scalp, it's the Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Tea Tree Cooling Hydration, Hydration Scalp Mask. Let me know if anyone has tried these. And then, I got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid because mine ran out. They only had the small size, so I'm kind of sad, but it's fine. Then I got this little Sephora cleansing brush to wash my face at night with because I hate using my hands. Find a gross way. Then I got this little sharpener from Sephora and that's it. Come back for part three, four, whatever it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. This is my first huge Sephora sale. Uh, there's still more coming, but there's a big delay on uh, the sale. So... Let's get these open. Also, guys, the giveaway still active. All you gotta do is follow my Instagram. And there's not just gonna be this. There's gonna be other products in the basket that you'll be winning. First box, freebies. Then I got a mini of the Skylar Perfume Pink Canyon. This was also free. Then I got the Glossier uh, Vitamin C Serum. And this is so freaking pretty. Obsessed. Second box, some more freebies. A Charlotte Tilbury. This is the mini uh, magic cream. NARS foundation in the shade light 4, I believe. Yes, light 4. And then the Rare Beauty liquid highlight in the shade Enlighten. Super cute. Third box. Of course, freebies. Rare Beauty uh, lipstick in the shade Worthy. The next thing I got is the Glow Recipe Toner. Love this one. Had to get the full size. Now this one I've never tried. It is the matching moisturizer to the toner. Let's see if it's good as a set. Obviously more freebies. We love freebies from Sephora. Come on now. I got the Mario Plumping Lip Serum. And then it's in the shade Bronze Glow. It looks like that. I love this product. This is the Glossier Brow Flick. If you've never tried this, you need to try this because for your brows, this is amazing. Then I got the Say Big Brush. I think this one is the foundation one, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Low key lost track, but I think fifth box. Y'all, they gave me hella freebies for this one. Appreciate you, for And they gave me this one again. Holy cow. I got the Refi highlighter, the iconic London setting spray. Look at that. Then I got the YTTP uh, exfoliant. This was also free. Six package <laughs> freebies. The soft pinch blush from Rare Beauty. And then I got the shade Hope in uh, the Rare Beauty blushes. Seventh box. More freebies. I got a Tower 28 lip liner. It's like a brown shade in the shade Draw Me. Cute. Then I got the infamous Tower 28 mascara. I'm a mascara whore for sure and a blush whore, but we're not going to talk about it. Eighth box, which is the second to last box, thankfully. I got this for my bathroom because I'm tired of everyone touching my skincare. And this is to, I don't know who's touching what. You know what I mean? Now my last box. Freebies. Glossier Hyaluronic Acid. Super cute. Shiseldo eyelash color. I don't know how to say this brand, but it's a hair oil. A mini Kosas Cloud Set, one of my faves. Laura Mercier Translucent Ultra Blur. Topicals uh, Brightening Serum. 
Two Sephora concealers and the Shiseido refills. Choice exfoliant, but not for me. And I got all these benefit freebies, including this. This was everything purchased, and these were all the freebies. Make sure y'all join the giveaway, guys, and follow my Instagram below. Spent nearly 300 pounds at Sephora on the opening in the London store. So let's do a full face, or as much of a full face as I can, with the products that I bought. So I got the Super Goop Glow Screen and the Glow Stick. I'm going to try the Glow Screen today so many amazing things about this product the reason i got both is because this one's spf 30 this one's spf 50 if you want me to try this in another video let me know this is also supposed to add a little glow and i can tell why it literally looks shimmery i've really been sleeping on this product because look at that glow even more visible in person and of course with an spf the most important is no white cast and there is definitely none so next up we have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Medium. I've been wanting to try this for so, so long. It was literally chaos in there, so I don't even know whether I picked up the right shade, but let's go. I'm also using the complexion brush. This looks gorgeous. This just adds a lovely, even complexion to the skin while keeping it super natural. Everything that I was hoping for. I just added some correcting concealer and some bronzer and now I'm gonna go in with these beauties. I love the bronzy drops. So when I saw the rosy drops, I was like, get in my basket. I'm just gonna go straight on. Ooh, that shade is actually not what I was expecting. I thought it would be a little bit darker. On my skin tone, you can see it looks kind of peachy. So I'm blending this out. I can't really see it. And I do think this product would look great on bare skin. So I think I'm gonna have to do another video trying this product with like no makeup on because as you can see it's not really doing much for me right now it's not really giving with this combo i've got on right now i'm sad to make that cream blush pop i've got the danessa myricks yummy skin flushed golden hour blush can't wait to try this on their insta i saw a video and i was like i need that like yesterday literally how beautiful is that i have been really loving oh, this shade red and purple colored blushes recently ah oh, oh my god this is literally stunning and i just dipped my brush in like once so lightly a friend actually put me onto danessa myricks because she was like oh i've got this event and i was like what and then she was like you've never tried this brand and i was like like what it was such a shock to me i was like how have i not crossed or tried this brand yet what the hell i'm so late to this brand hype then i looked up the owner i was like oh my god she is incredible we have the Kosas Concealer in the shade 06. I've been dying to try this. I think it's definitely more a highlighter shade. Oh, not too much actually. That's why I put the corrector on underneath. This blends out so well. I definitely want to get an even lighter shade of this for a highlighter shade. This is looking so nice and moisturized. Love it. This Sephora blush in 50. Wow, the pig wow, the pigment. We're running out of time, come to part two. Mwah. Bows with party.